So I'm thinking adding like maybe meticulous somewhere around here. Uh, yep. All right. Why am I nervous? What is this? <laughs> I don't even get nervous to tattoo. Why am I nervous to wear a person's shirt? What is this? All right. Uh -huh, uh -huh. About a ribbon so I can do meticulous. Let's see. Okay, okay. Feel a little rusty here. Looks like a vintage um, airbrush design. What can I do with the top? Let's see. Let me double check how you spell meticulous. Okay. All right, there you go. <sighs> now let's remove the sticker. <laughs> Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, damn. I like it. I like it. Yeah, I was definitely rusty. I could feel my hand very tense, you know. I didn't. I wasn't going with the flow. But, uh, hey, I had fun. Hey, let me get close. A close up of it. Let's see. Go. What's today? The sixth, the seventh, seventh the seventh. Lucky number seven. First client of the year. Uh, I took off maybe like a whole month. It was exactly a whole month of, um, of me taking a break. We have my client here. He actually got tattooed a year ago. Um, First one of last year. Yeah. He ended up getting this cover up here, the skull. Uh, I'm gonna put a little video so you guys can remember what I, what I ended up covering up on him. It was a Virgin Mary on the chest. Today's project, we're gonna be covering up this tattoo right here. I got this piece of shit tattoo on my chest and it's just like no matter what you got, there's like a center of attention as soon as like I take my shirt off. So, uh, I wanted to make this video. I only asked him to come in today to do a couple touch-ups. The reason why I wanted to record today, I, I was not planning on recording today, but I figured that it was a good, a good video to record. Uh, I feel like a lot of you just see the fresh piece and how would I say the, the negative, ah, the, damn, I'm trying I'm to think for words too. We said it too earlier right now. What was I know we were just talking about oh, this. bad reaction. The bad, bad reaction. Re there you go. We were, you ever have bad skin reaction? Yes. So we never. I never really touched base on that. I never really talked about it. Going depth with that. And I think it's very important to talk about this topic because I don't want any of you to just go in into doing a cover up and then expecting it to just heal perfectly. You know, sometimes things can happen. Sometimes skin skin can react in a certain way, and we can't really control it. Uh, sometimes when the skin is too sensitive or you applied a certain product, or maybe you ended up, you know, overworking the skin because it can happen, you know, even to the best of us, it can happen. So what happened in this situation was that towards the end of the session, what happened was that he was in pain. Uh, it is the chest area, the nipple area was super sensitive. And <laughs> <laughs> what happened was that, you know what, I'm gonna apply uh, a spray, which it was at that time Basicane, in where he had an, a bad allergic reaction to the lidocaine. On the areas that he ended up getting a bad allergic reaction was here, and you can see uh, the scabs on this area. You see this area right here. The chin area, the nose, and a little bit here. So, when he ended up, you know, he ended up sending me pictures of what was going on. What were you thinking when everything was going on? Well, I just felt like it was a really bad skin rash. Like, mm -hmm. I felt like my skin just was really irritated and 
the more product I put on it, the more it was getting worse. <laughs> <laughs> so it was getting super moist, huh? <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, it was getting really moist, and I just feel like it was never. I was never allowing it to mm -hmm. breathe or heal. Yeah. Until you finally told me, like, just stop. <laughs> <laughs> stop doing all that. Yeah. I was trying uh, to buy all kinds of products too. That was my fault. Just using different products. I even used mm -hmm. hydrocodone one time mm -hmm. at one point. God damn. Because <laughs> <laughs> it says to help stop the burning, yeah. but that didn't work really. <laughs> I ended up staying in contact with him until he was done healing. Once um, I saw that it was no longer something to worry about, I was like, okay, cool. Now we just got a plan for the touch up and stuff like that. But a lot of things happened that year that we couldn't, Crazy. we just couldn't meet so we could uh, finish it up and be able to make those touch ups. But a year later, I love the Thank fact you. how he healed up. Like, Me too. I, I love how he healed up. Most of the areas are super dark. You can't see the previous tattoo art also. This is a year old uh, healed. Um, so I'm, I'm really happy to see it after a year, how the way he healed up. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. I mean, the only areas I really got to touch, uh, I really do, I, I really got to do a touch up on is here, this area here, on this area, and the chin. And we'll see if I touch the nipple. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> <Nobody> sleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But uh, yeah, no. We'll do that last. We'll do <laughs> <laughs> or should I do it first? No! <laughs> Just get rid of it. <laughs> I'm really gonna enjoy this video because I never had a chance to talk about this, uh, this circumstances, you know, situations that happen. It's rare when this happens, but when it does happen, the number one thing that I'm gonna suggest is for you guys to do not panic. First of all, don't feel like, oh, I messed up, you know, I'm such a bad artist. Don't put yourself down. Don't do that because it is, it is, that is, that's not the case. Sometimes things happen, that skin can react in a certain way. Sometimes you can't control the way somebody's skin is gonna heal. And the best thing that you can do is just be informed. Now, depending on how it looks, in this situation, his was very sensitive. So I immediately, I immediately told him, stop applying products. You know, when you take a long shower, then your, your scab looks very wrinkly, wrinkly, very nasty. And then once he, I told him stop applying everything and let it just naturally heal because our bodies are designed to naturally heal. <laughs> so I told him stop and just let it happen. All right, here we go. A year later, my guy. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. <laughs> there you go. Now when it comes down to matching the tone, that's just pure practice. I wish I can tell you there's a formula that you can, you know, oh yeah, you know, like you can just mix this and that and you'll get the same tone. You gotta go in and do it as, uh, as much as you can so you can Memorize it. It's all muscle memory. You're able to see it and you're gonna be able to know exactly what tone you use Especially after a year man You got to be able to know your tones by memory Round liner out of here. I'm like, please don't say nipple. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Are well, we getting there for sure? <laughs> La pendejeta technique right here. Little excess circles, scribbles, whatever. I want to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> La pendejeta technique, bro. Starting out. <laughs> I thought you were kidding, but no, you said they used to left scribbles. I'm like, oh, you say that. And they had the technique, my guy. La pendejeta technique has been used for a few, by a few artists now. They be tagging me and shit on Instagram. I like it. I be sharing it too. So whoever has used the pendejeta technique, tag me. And if you don't know what it is, this is what it is. You just do circles, X's, 
scribble all over the skin and reminds you like a Ta-da! you get texture <laughs> Firme. I don't got my beer to cheers. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I just keep telling myself, I can take it. I can take that nipple. I can take that nipple. thing. I mean, I got my nipples fucking pierced before. There you go. But I was like young and dumb. <laughs> <laughs> what a good excuse. <laughs> yeah. It's time. <laughs> it's time. <laughs> <laughs> It's time Good for the nipple. I want to record. I, last time I tried recording myself and I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can you record this? <laughs> yeah. Do it like last time I tried recording and I just <laughs> and I dropped my phone. <laughs> His body tensed up. <laughs> oh yeah, I did. Yo soy hombre. <laughs> you can go record now. Yo soy hombre. Yo soy hombre. Oh, oh, so your, your hands up. Oh, hands up. Hands up. Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. I want, I want to get a close up with my camera. Hold up. A super close angle of it. Give me a minute. Oh my god, man. Uh, I'm so ready. To I, I was so ready. Oh, man. All right, hands up. Okay. I'm sweating now. I got to angle, angle, <laughs> angle it. All right, here you go. Gotta make sure it's fully focused. So hombre. So hombre. Here we go. I've just been here before, so I know what I'm getting stuff into. <laughs> okay. Ready? Go. Let's go. Get in there. Get you right in the banger, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I still would get my other nipple blacked out too. Next. Just the nipple. Your, just the nipple. Just Nothing get. <laughs> Let me get that one white with so the yin and the yang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Got it. Got it. <laughs> Almost. Come on. You got it. Just get used to the pain. No! <laughs> Did I turn around? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Last one. I'm lost. Come on, man. Lost. <laughs> no, fuck. <sighs> there you go. There you go. You did it, my guy. You did it, man. You did ah, it. Hombre. You did it. <laughs> Eres hombre. <sighs> oh. oh, man. So we finally completed this, uh, this quick touch up on his chest. Uh, like I mentioned before, it is very important to talk about this topic because I don't want you guys thinking that, you know, everything's gonna come out perfect every time. And I think that it's very important for you guys to know this information in case that happens to you, you already know what to do. I know that there's a lot of questions on my Instagram about, oh, you know, how your tattoos healed after a year, or sometimes they just very, you know, sometimes people just comment like, oh, that's not gonna hold up because I don't know why, and that black is not gonna look black after some time, and. Man, I think you should not have your doubts when you're dealing with Mr. Reyes. <laughs> <laughs> Other people I can't, you know, speak for it, but mm -hmm. sheesh, man, at first I was really, really nervous because the way it was like peeling and scabbing. But as soon as you told me to stop, just let the body heal itself, like, sure, work came out and the body did its thing and mm -hmm. you couldn't even see the tattoo. And then 
touch-ups are not bad. I thought the nipple was going to be a lot worse than I thought, but... <laughs> I'm going to play think... back like the footage. Oh! <laughs> 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 No, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. Oh, to be honest, dude, I'm, I really appreciate you for because a lot of artists won't even hit you up. It's like a one done, chuck the deuce. Mm. Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and you like you kept in touch with me the whole year, and mm. and I love that shit, man. Yeah, I know. Uh, due to some circumstances last year, you know, it got too busy. Things started happening. You know, sickness all over the place. Uh, everything was very hectic last year but year. uh we got to meet finally a year later and i think my favorite part about the touch-up is that on the areas that i ended up touching up you can't really see the difference between what's fresh and what's healed and i think that's my favorite part because i was able to match the same tones that i used last time so that's 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 one thing that i'm i'm really happy with Ooh. the fact that you can't really tell where the touch-ups happen you know okay, it looks <laughs> like it's already healed yeah and that's that's basically it. So love it. <laughs> I think that's it. I think that's it for this video. Nice and clean and simple. Nothing too complicated. Straight to the point. So thank you guys for coming back and watching this brand new video. Uh, and if you're a tattoo artist, I hope you learned something from this video. And if you're a tattoo enthusiast, I hope you were entertained. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Peace. Hey.